Our lesson for today is all about representing an inverse function through table of values and graphs. In this video, students will be able to represent an inverse function through its table of values and graph. So again, what is inverse function? An inverse function is a function with the domain B and range A given that the original function has domain A and range B. And also, the inverse function of f is denoted by f raised to negative 1. It is defined by the equation f raised to negative 1 of y is equal to x if and only if f of x is equal to y. For any y in range b, since both are functions, then a function must be one-to-one -one for its inverse to be function at the same time. If it is many-to-one function, it is inverse is one-to-many, which is not function. Kung naalala, sabi natin, always remember, a one-to-one -one function has a 1x value with 1y value. One input for one output. How about in terms of table? In using table of values of the functions, first, we need to ascertain that the given function is a one-to-one -one function, wherein no x values are repeated. It is represented as the x values of the function resulted as the y values of its inverse. And the y values of the function are the x values of its inverse, meaning the x values of the given function will become the y values of the inverse functions. And the y values of, inver of the function is that will become the x values of the inverse functions. And the graph should correspond to one-to-one -to -one function by applying the horizontal line test. Remember, uh, by using of the horizontal line test, kapag ginagamit natin siya, dapat wala dapat na any repeated na x values or y values sa graph para masabi natin siyang that is one-to-one -one function. At the same time, given the graph of one-to-one -one function, the graph of its inverse can be obtained by reflecting the graph about line y is equal to x. It is the same with uh, reflection in terms of the inverse function. Let us have an example. Find the inverse of one-to-one -one function, which is f of x is equal to x plus 2. Again, our given function is f of x is equal to 2. How will you get the inverse? Step number 1, we need to rewrite your f of x into y is equal to x plus 2. Then after that, second step, we need to interchange your y will become 2x. Then your x will become 2y plus 2. Then after that, solve for x. So bring down x. From positive 2 will change into negative 2 is equal to y. Then after that, I rewrite the resulting into inverse function which is f raised to negative 1 of x is equal to x minus 2. That will be the inverse of the function of our f of x is equal to x plus 2. After you find the inverse of the function, we need to apply in the completing of the table of values. Again, the given function is f of x is equal to x plus 2. We need to complete the table of values if the value of our x is negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. What we're going to do is we need to substitute the of our value of x dun sa ating f of x or sa ating function. So, ano well, gagawin? Sabi daw, yung dating f of x, gawin natin siyang y is equal to x plus 2 to find the value of our y. First, if x is negative 2, 
So, y is equal to negative 2 plus 2 so is equal to 0. If x is equal to negative 1, y is equal to negative 1 plus 2. So, negative 1 plus 2, they are unlike sign. You need to subtract. So, 2 minus 1 is 1. And the highest sign number is positive. That's why the answer is positive 1. If x is equal to 0, so y is equal to 0 plus 2. So, 0 plus 2 is 2. Pagkatapos, yung 1 naman, if x is equal to positive 1. So, y is equal to 1 plus 2. So, 1 plus 2 is 3. And x is equal to 2, so y, y is equal to 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. So that will be our table of values of the given function x plus 2. How about its inverse? Remember, the inverse of x plus 2 is x minus 2. Sa pagkuha ng inverse ng table of values, ang gagawin nyo lang is yung dating x values, yung dating x values ay magiging y values na ng inverse. Yung dating y values ay magiging x values na ng our inverse. That's why here, so why Again, our x values is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 na dating y values. Then our y values, yung dating x values ng ating function. That will be the table of values of the given inverse functions. So let us graph our given table of values para makita ninyo kung nag-reflect ba talaga or nag-inverse ba talaga yung given function. Pag sinabi natin inverse, kung reflective ba sila sa isa at isa. So again, the given function is negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, while the y values is 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Plot natin. First is negative 2 and 0. Ayan. The second one is negative 1 and positive 1. 0 and 2. Positive 1 and 3. And 2 and 4. So that is our function. f of x is equal to x plus 2. How about the inverse function? Which is 0, negative 2, 1 and negative 1, 2 and 0, 3 and 1, 4 and 2. That will be the inverse of the function. If you observe, it is a reflective sa dating f of x na function at sa inverse function ng f of x. That's why it is, is a one-to-one -one function of its inverse. Another example, find the inverse of one-to-one -one function f of x is equal to 2x plus 3. Again, the function is f of x is equal to 2x plus 3. Again, your f of x is right into y is equal to 2x plus 3. Then after that interchange, pagpalita, pagpalitin, yung dating y ay magiging x. And 2 and yung dating x ay magiging y plus 3. Then combine. So I bring down x. Yung dating positive 3 ay magiging negative 3 is equal to 2y. Tapos divide both side by 2. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, cancel na yan. So, matitira na lang is y. So, x minus 3 over 2. Then, after that, isulat in terms of inverse function. So, f raised to negative 1 of x is equal to x minus 3 over 2. So, this is the inverse of the f of x or our function. Then, complete the table of values. So, again, our function is 2x plus 3. So, magbibigay tayo uli ng set of values of x, which is negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Same process, is a substitute lang natin yung value ng ating x sa ating function. So, again, yung function natin is y is equal to 2x plus 3. So, substitute natin yung value ng ating mga x sa ating function. 
So, let us start. x is negative 2. y is equal to 2 times negative 2 plus 3. So, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 plus 3. So, negative 4 and positive 3, they are unlike signs. So, kailangan natin sila subtract. So, 4 minus 3 is 1. And the highest sign number is negative. So, negative 1. How about if x is negative 1? So, y is equal to 2 times negative 1 plus 3. So, magiging 2 times negative 1 is 2. Or negative 2 plus 3. So, the answer is positive 1. Kasi magkaiba sila ng sign, so minus uli. So, x is equal to 0. So, y is equal to 2 times 0 plus 3. So, magiging 2 times 0 is 0 plus 3. The answer is 3. How about x is equal to positive 1? So, y is equal to 2 times 1 plus 3. So, 2 times 1 is 2 plus 3. The answer is 5. If x is positive 2, so y is equal to 2 times 2 plus 3. So, magiging 2 times 2 is 4 plus 3. The answer is 7. So, that is our table of values in the function of 2x plus 3. How about in its inverse? Sabi natin, the inverse of the function is x minus 3 over 2. Sabi natin uli kanina, yung dating x ni function ay magiging y sa inverse. Yung dating y ni function ay magiging x ni inverse. That's why x is negative 1, 1, 3, 5, and 7, while the y values is negative 2, negative 1, 0, and 1, and 2. Then after that, make a table. This is our function. So, isa-isay natin. Sa function natin na una, negative 2 and negative 1, negative 1 and 1, 0 and 3, 1 and 5, 2 and 7. That will be the function of 2x plus 3. How about its inverse? Negative 1 and negative 2, positive 1 and negative 1, 3 and 0. 5 and 1, 7 and 2. That will be the inverse of the given function. Kung mapapansin nyo, they are reflected, reflection. So that's why this is an inverse of the given function. So this is the graph of the inverse functions. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and share and comment and subscribe to Teacher Ren TV. Thank you.